everybody. I'm Seth Falkins with NECA. You're at the NECA booth, booth 3145 at San Diego Comic-Con 2019. So we're just going to do a little booth tour here, starting with Quarter Scale Pennywise from the 2017 IT film. He comes with multiple hands and a balloon, so you can have that famous pose of him holding the balloon with the balloon string. We've also got Quarter Scale Michael Myers from the 2018 film Halloween. And they just announced the two sequels to the film yesterday, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, so it will be a trilogy. I love Michael Myers, so he can do anything that's fine by me. <laughs> So we're also showing off our figure of H2, Halloween 2's 1981 Michael Myers, portrayed by the one and only Dick Warlock. We've also got Ultimate Sam from Trick or Treat. He comes with multiple heads and there's an actual LED in the pumpkin that lights up the, that lights up the flame, just wow. like in the movie. For the first time, we're showing off Hellraiser Pinhead, an ultimate figure. He'll come with multiple heads and hands, and he'll have his skirt, so you can pop off the top of him, put the skirt on, and he's like complete. NECA did him many years ago, back in 2001, 2002, so it's nice to return almost 20 years later to Hellraiser and to Pinhead. So he's a classic figure, and it's nice to bring him back. That's an unpainted version right there we have, just to show people the sculpt and that he is, in fact, coming out. So very detailed. The Conjuring Universe. The Conjuring Universe is opening up. James Wan has done some incredible films. And uh, we're showing off the Crooked Man here. He comes with three heads, his hat, the umbrella, multiple hands. And for the first time, we have Annabelle from the Annabelle films with the creepy case. So for everybody who's going to buy her, if she, if she moves at night, you might have to, you might got to be careful. Uh -oh. so she comes with multiple heads and display case will come with her as well. Nice. Uh, Gremlins, 1984, classic film by Joe Dante and Steven Spielberg. This is when they sing the Christmas carols when she opens the door. And uh, we'll have two two-packs of that this year. So they come with their hats and candy canes and their songbooks and gingerbread. So that'll be a nice, that'll be a nice holiday release right there. Yeah. Mad Balls, Series 2, we got the Horror Balls. Chucky, Pinhead, and Pennywise from the It movie. So uh, those are coming back in a nice way. That's Series 2. Very cool. A new line for NECA is called Toonie Terrors. Toonie Terrors is kind of a stylized, simplistic figural form of some of our favorite horror characters. Kind of based off of that Saturday morning cartoon type of thing. Kind of like a Scooby-Doo-esque uh, version of these characters. Uh, limited articulation, a lower price point, like $12 or $13 in the store. You know, it's not like 30 or 35 you're spending on something in the comic book shop for an ultimate. Or a they look really cool. Dollars. Yeah, they're a lot of fun, and uh, they're they're stylized, um, and uh, each come with an accessory or two. Nice. We have Pennywise from the It movie a couple years ago. We've got Jason Pennywise from 1990, the Tim Curry version. We've got Freddy Krueger. And series two, we've got Myers, Leatherface, and Pinhead. And then later this year, we have a Chucky and Bride of Chucky Tiffany two pack. Very cool. No, I mean with the price point on those. Is there a price point? Yeah, about twelve dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, twelve dollars in, in retail. That's something good. Like that. That's yep. really good. Yeah, something nice and a little cheaper for people, you know. And if their kids want it, they can just buy it. And there's no like small accessories or dangerous. Mm -hmm. so. Very nice. Okay, continuing on, we've got our retro cloth line here. We've got. Uh, Zombie Pamela, Clive Barker's Nightbreed Decker, we've got the John Carpenter classic They Live 2-pack, Sam from Trick or Treat, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch 3-pack, Pennywise 2017, Pennywise 1990, Candyman, Michael Myers, we've got tons of horror, horror retro cloth figures on the dock. Turtles are coming back in All a right. strong way. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Say it with me now. We had the two packs at Target this year, and they were a huge success. We had them from the cartoon. We did the uh, the darker green turtles with the Foot Clan and Shredder and Krang. And this time we've got Wave 2 coming out for Target exclusives. We've got Bebop and Rocksteady. They will awesome. be the two pack there, and we're coming out with the turtles again in their style guide colors, so it's a little more of a pop. On the package, you'll notice they're bright green uh -huh. on the new style guide so we said hey let's update the colors people can have the turtles again and there will also be a two pack of the foot soldiers so you can army build nice 
Showing off for the first time, we're also showing Alpha Prime and Casey Jones and April O'Neil. Uh, they will also be in two, two packs later this year as well. Yeah, those are grand. Battle Damage Foot Soldiers, we're showing off a Roadkill Rodney. Uh, there's also kind of uh, tidbits and Easter eggs for those people who are real big Turtles fans. There's some little accessories and little hints and things. In nice. the Technodrome Diorama, we've got uh, Leatherhead from the cartoon, Slash from the cartoon, and Metalhead from the cartoon. Very nice. Those villains are all hanging out, plotting their next doodad and deed. Will there be a way to get this? Uh, the uh, no, not. But we do have the street uh, scene, the NECA street diorama for sale. But this is just uh, made for the con, right? Now. But you never know. But this is for the con. Nice. As you know, NECA has all kinds of aliens and predators. So many predators, in fact, this is our 100th one. We decided, look, we've done 100 predators, let's give something back to the fans, let's do an all new predator, let's call him the Alpha Predator. And uh, it's an original sculpt, an original design by NECA. Uh, he, that's a two up right there. He will be shrunk to an eight inch scale, normal predator size. Nice. Uh, continuing the Kenner homage line, we've got the Rhino Alien and the Ultimate Laser Shot Predator Alien Predator. Those will come out later this year as well. Very cool. That's the actual size of the Rhino Alien. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's big. It's a big one. It is the 40th anniversary for Alien this year. 1979, the original came out. And we're going to celebrate the 40 years by re-releasing some of the figures with updated deco, articulation, and paint jobs. First on the docket is the Big Chap. Ultimate Big Chap will come with the egg and the face hugger and the chest burster from the original film. We've got Parker on display. We're going to have a few other assorted aliens figures. And we're also re-releasing the Big Chap 22 inches with uh, original Kenner style packaging uh, and uh, updated paint jobs. Nice. We're showing the ultimate dog galing with updated articulation and new deco as well as two chest bursters that he comes with. And where we have the Resurrection Wave, Alien 3, the Kenner Alien Wave, we've got the Classic Wave, the Deluxe Newborn, the Resurrection Queen, we've got tons of alien products. Go, go, Godzilla! NECA continues with their Godzilla line, which has been a great success. We uh, just released the King of the Monsters repaint for the 1954-56 Godzilla. We're coming out with the 1954 Godzilla. All you notice all the updated packaging we're coming out with. Now the license has opened up a little bit, the clamshells were a little style guide specific, so we're coming out with the new boxes with a window flap, the art, the original poster art for nice. each film, which has fans going crazy. Look at that beautiful art. You that's can't really get better cool. than that. It's beautiful. You know, that's from the, you know, from the 54 and the 90s movies. The Heisei era was just incredible. Um, we will release the 1954 Godzilla with a new blast effect and updated deco. We're re-releasing the 85 Godzilla with new fins, new hands, new neck, uh, different parts. We try to get it a little more accurate each time. We know the Godzilla fans are very specific about all the suits and everything, so we really want to uh, make sure it's as accurate as possible. And for the first time, we're showing off two new Godzillas. Uh, one Godzilla is the 1964 Mothra versus Godzilla, shown here, and uh, in all its glory. And we're also showing a version 3, kind of a molten fire, atomic meltdown version uh, from the new King of the Monsters movie directed by Michael Doherty. Okay. We're all doing it. Terminator Dark Fate coming out later this year. James Cameron is back. He is involved with the film. Arnold is back. Linda Hamilton is back. Here on display for the first time, we've got the T-800 himself and Sarah Connor. And they will come with multiple guns, multiple weapons, multiple hands. Wow. Excellent likenesses. Pretty cool, huh? Guillermo del Toro, the signature collection continues with the beautiful Shape of Water film. He won the Oscar for Best Picture for that. And we have the Shape of Water amphibian Manny's multiple heads, multiple hands, the egg plate, and he actually comes with the uh, base shown there. Nice. That's really We've good. We've got the Goonies Retro Cloth 2-pack from the classic film, Chunk and Sloth on display. They'll come with their pirate hats and swords. Bob Ross will come with his easel, his palette, paint brushes. And for the first time, we're showing Stormtroopers of Death, Sergeant D. Huh. Oh my god, these are amazing. These are so good. Thanks so much, Victoria. All right, thank, thank you, you, Stefan. Appreciate Goodbye, it. Bye, everyone. Enjoy.